watching CBS 2 News in high definition. Plus this. Devastating hair loss. It affects millions. But what can you do? Now, new technology may be able to help. CBS 2 shows you the cutting-edge ways to restore your youthful locks. Growing back gorgeous hair. That story is just ahead. Plus, bad hair, good hair, but what if you are losing hair? We test out new technology promising to restore your crowning glory. See the before and the after. Tonight, some good news in the battle to hang on to your hair. Some pretty astonishing advancements in the field of hair replacement. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez has all the details. Anita Buckler was suffering with severe hair loss. It's really a big self-image thing. But take a look at this series of photographs showing an amazing transformation in her hair. I am ecstatic about it. Buckler had a series of laser treatments once a week for five months. <sighs> Doctors say lasers work by reducing inflammation in the hair follicles while increasing blood flow to the area. This is a major breakthrough in hair loss therapy. It's a modern medical miracle. Now one company called iGrow claims you can get this hair growing laser technology at home with a new portable system. It stimulates your hair follicle but from a cellular level. Doctors are even using laser technology in conjunction with hair transplants now. I've seen very good results to kickstart early hair growth on patients that I've transplanted. We're going to just increase the frontal hairline. 31-year-old Matt Miller is getting the newest kind of hair transplant called the Neograft. Much quicker, much easier, almost painless as far as the recovery, and there's virtually no downtime. Hair transplant specialist Dr. Paul Glatt says hair transplants used to involve big scars and individually transplanting hairs by hand. But that's changed. Today's transplants work like a vacuum on each follicle using suction. Hair is removed from the back of the head and placed in the front quickly and relatively painlessly. It's almost blowing or pushing the hair into the new location. Taylor used to have a full head of curly hair and is hoping this new transplant will help him get more work as an actor. I love to, you know, get through my 30s, um, you know, feeling confident and having a, you know, thick head of hair. These new technologies can be expensive, anywhere from $700 to $7,000. And the key with transplants is to find a doctor who's an artist at placing the new hairs. Ask to see his results in photos or a live patient and make sure your transplant looks natural. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News. And doctors are also working on cloning hair follicles.